Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, go through what I have on today. I do have a new palette on and then I have a whole bunch of palettes behind me that are uh, Halloween palettes that you might already have that would just be fun to go ahead and do some spooky looks with. So I thought I'd go ahead and get started with what I have on today. And I did start with the Revolution Skin Silk in F2, mixed it with the Lumi Glotion by um, L'Oreal, and then I also added in some of the Milani, and these are the Bronzing Drops in 110. This is the lightest shade, tends to go really gold. So uh, these are what I have on for base today. Um, I did go ahead and use some of the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop as far as my concealer. And I did go ahead and use the Make Me Brow by Essence in the dark brown as well. As far as what I did on the cheeks today, I kind of mixed everything. did start off with the Sunrise, and this is the uh, bronzer, and this one is from Flower Beauty. And then I used uh, the Wet n Wild, and this is the Barrel of Scares. It's from their, um, let's see, uh, yeah, the Nightmare Before Christmas. I have the palette right behind me. And so I did go ahead and use some of this. I used uh, some of the Moira. This is the Foxy Pink as well. So I have uh, some of this and some of this on. And then I mixed in some of the Catrice, and this is the highlighter in the Supreme Rose Bean. So I do have all three of these in the bronzer on the cheek today. And then as far as what I went and did for the eyes, I did pick up a new palette over at Target. And I'd seen this palette sell out and sell out, and I was like, okay, what am I missing? And this is a Revolution Hyper Real palette. And uh, it's what I have on my eyes today, this way that it looks. And um, it's a really good topper palette. I've only been able to get one real look out of it, and uh, this is, I have it on today, um, because the other shades, and I've used them as toppers, and they really work well. Uh, they're all multi chromes, and um, well, as far as what I have on today, I have this on the inner corner from here to here. And then I also have this to about the mid, uh, mid lid. And then I put some of the green on right at the middle of the lid. Um, I did go ahead and use this gray color for the outer corner. And then right along the brow bone, I went ahead and used this color. And that's the darker blue in there used a little bit of this, uh, and this comes off more as a white from here to here, uh, right under the brow, as a brow highlight. And so, yeah, this is a fun palette. It's not, uh, it's all multi-chromes and it's topper shades, basically. Um, this is really pretty. I used it on top of an orange red look and it turned out really pretty. Uh, this white shade is all sparkles. Um, so if you're looking for a palette just to have topper shades, I would definitely go ahead and recommend this one. Um, like I said, I've only been able to get one full look out of this particular palette. And that's the one I have on right now, which is a very blue palette, a very blue look. Um, I also did go ahead and use Handy on um, eyeliner as well. So like I said, the pigmented shades are the cooler tones, but I've been using the warmer tones as toppers, and actually I've used them all as toppers in looks, and they really are just really pretty. So definitely would go ahead and recommend this palette. I think it runs for about $12, $13 over at a Target. And so if you're looking for something like that, or you want to just play with some multi-crumbs and you don't want to put a lot of money into them to see how they look on you, this would definitely be a good one. Also, if you have a younger, you know, somebody who's just getting into makeup and wants to try some multi-crumbs, but you don't, you know, want to go and spend the $50, $70 price tag to go ahead and get some, uh, this would definitely be 
an option for you. And again, it's called the Hyper Real Palette. And um, so again, I think it turned out really well. And I think it turned out really pretty and has a ton of sparkle to it. So uh, yeah, it worked out well. And then I have the Sandworms and this is the Butter Gloss. And so that's what I have on the lips today. Excuse me. As far as what I have for palettes, I have a lot of palettes here. And so I got my Halloween palettes out and I got out a couple of palettes that I thought would really work for Halloween. Um, and so let's see what we got. Halloween palettes and what you may already have. And I thought that I'd go ahead and let you know beforehand that you can go to Walgreens and get an alcohol spray and the reason why you might want to go ahead and get an alcohol spray is if you do have older palettes and I'm talking powder palettes uh, like this one which is the All Hallows Eve by Colourpop it's one of the Hocus Pocus palettes um, you may want to go ahead and spray it with um, the alcohol spray to go ahead and get rid of any germs or anything that may be on it and uh, what's recommended is to get an alcohol spray that's over 90 percent to go ahead and spray down palettes you just spray the palette and then leave it for about 15 minutes to dry and it should be good to go um, but with older palettes if there's something growing in them or if they don't smell good then that's a point when you really 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 need to put them away if you're a collector and not use them again or go ahead and declutter them because they probably aren't any good anymore um, but going ahead and getting into the fun part the holiday palettes let's go ahead and start with um, Hocus Pocus the All Hallows Eve and if you have this one, definitely a good one for Halloween. The green looks are pretty amazing. The duochromes are fun. And you can get a dark enough um, look that you can really go Halloween kind of crazy. And it also has an orange, which is also really fun, fun for Halloween. So definitely if you have this one, go ahead and get that one back out. One from Sheen, and uh, this is the Cosmic Come Up or the Alien uh, Mood Palette. And so this is a really fun one that came out last year. And um, again, it's on the Sheen website. It's by She Glam, and it's one of the most unique ones I have. And definitely a really good Halloween palette as well. Uh, Dreamscape by Profusion. And Profusion, you can go ahead and pick up um, in Walmart and a uh, really good palette again it has a lot of really dark colors so that you can really smoke something out and this one has a lot of really pigmented colors so uh, they do have a couple of duochromes which is new for profusion like this one and this one over here oh and that one too so um, there's a lot of variety in this palette and um, it's just dark enough that you can really do some really fun dark looks and so Profusion isn't that expensive it's over at Walmart and I would go ahead and recommend something like this for Halloween makeup for the kids um, if you have kids that want to do their own makeup rather than some of those grease paint things that you see um, it's just because these are a lot easier to work with grease paint smears and goes all over everywhere and a profusion palette for the kids is maybe a maybe a good idea because they can at least do some drawing and get some good blood stuff um, well actually if you want to do blood spatter for Halloween you probably want to go ahead and do one of the grease paint ones but yeah this one is um, definitely fun to go ahead and do some deeper looks with and if you have kids wanting to do Halloween makeup these aren't that expensive they're usually like 12 or 14 dollars and um, let's see on the other side of the spectrum um, this is one of the indie uh, palettes this one is Machina by Blend Bunny and uh, just 
is a really beautiful palette, a very unique palette. And it has a whole bunch of special shades, and it has enough blues, blacks, and purples that you can really get a dark look. The greens are really gorgeous as well, and the quality of this palette, again, it's on the other side of the spectrum, so this would definitely be more of a grown-up kind of palette. Um, but definitely the quality is amazing and uh, yeah and the mirror is great too so if you wanted to do some Halloween looks I would definitely get out this palette as well and um, let's see another ColourPop palette is Hocus Pocus this one is Gather Round Sisters it's the first one that came out I think they did four of them I only picked up two of them uh, I love this palette it's one of my favorite all-time color, color pop palettes. It just uh, so grungy and good. But anyway, um, definitely with this one, um, I've already done a look with it. I did a Halloween um, lookbook where I did five different looks, and I used some of the shades from this one. And again, you know, if you have this, is definitely an older palette, and definitely going ahead and cleaning it off with some alcohol spray. So, yeah, went ahead and did that one. And this one is really fun from Glam Light. It's a Chucky one. And uh, the holographic packaging is just fun. Um, this one came out last year. I think, yeah, it did. And it's a burgundy palette. I wore it for two months straight in the winter months. Uh, the burgundy really works well as a winter color for me and um, so yeah if you want a whole bunch of 15 different shades of burgundy this would be your palette and I thought it was just really fun palette uh, really good quality um, let's see what else we have here another ColourPop one and so this is one that's actually over in Target uh, this palette actually came out last year and it's Welcome Foolish Mortals by ColourPop. Uh, again, this one they re-released for Halloween and it's over in Target in store. Really pretty palette. This is actually one of those holographic shades that has all the different colors of glitter in it. So if you want something to really stand out, this shade's going to do it for you. Everybody thinks it's this shade, but it's actually this shade. And um, really pretty dual chromes, some different formulas in here, and so really fun palette as well. And so really, I'm enjoying this one. I didn't pick it up last year, but I got it this year. And like I said, some of the, it's just a really pretty palette as well. So, yep. And then, um, let's see, what else did I have here? Okay, so, Inslee Rain, this uh, Cosmic Dreamer palette. And uh, you could definitely do a whole bunch of really fun holiday looks and Halloween looks. And um, there we go. Oh, and there goes stuff flying around. Um, it's that time of year though, right? So um, I did go ahead and do a blue look that turned out really beautiful. Uh, the Grinch greens would definitely work. All of the shimmers in here are duochromes or multi-chromes. Um, so if you really want to go ahead and pack them on to get a lot of punch, you can do that. And again, it goes really nice and dark and deep so that you can really smoke anything out that you want to smoke out. So another really good one for Halloween and holiday in general. Um, we're getting to a couple of the newer palettes that came out. So this one is by Wet n Wild, and this one is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, this palette I got over on the Wet n Wild website. It's over at Ulta as well. And um, Wet n Wild really did well with this palette. They have a whole bunch of different formulas. They have a cream uh, duochrome up here. They have a glitter. They have one of those holographic shadows that has all the different glitter down here for the gray. Um, they have a couple of duochromes as well. And um, a whole bunch of different kind of looks. They aren't going for... Um, I've done a gold look, I've done a red look, I've done a blue look, I've done a gray look from this one. So there are a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of variety in this particular one. 
really cute packaging and they did their lip and cheek colors to go ahead and go with them so definitely we would go ahead and recommend picking these up um, the lip and cheek colors I have the um, yeah bare lip scares on today and uh, just really pretty 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 color story and I wasn't expecting it I was really expecting more of a you know Halloween kind of red and black and it, it just turned it's a good one okay so the next the Beetlejuice palette um, color for the recently deceased is what it says here color for the recently deceased and um, really fun palette looks like a these shades are really sparkly um, if you want, really want to go ahead and do a really sparkly eye look I've done a couple of videos on this palette and it will it will really shine for you so really loved it and I love the movie and you can see that I'm zero two and or this is my number and they're on zero two so yeah uh, they really did a lot of fun details in this palette so yeah uh, the palette that we weren't expecting at all that showed up and um, actually ended up to be kind of an amazing palette is the ColourPop Stranger Things palette and this one actually um, is over at Ulta and I saw it in store at Ulta a lot of times with this kind of thing you have to order it but um, yeah uh, the packaging is great it's the vines and then if you turn it over you have the monster on this side so if you are feeling scared and queasy that's why and then the palette is um, really split into the Hawkins on the top and then the upside down on the bottom um, it does have two of the glitters and that's the glitter suspended so that you don't need to use a glitter glue with it and it's this peacock color and then this one up here a lot of uh, really shiny shimmers a lot of really dark colors um, so I don't know how many I've done like three or four different looks with this one there's also a packet of the two um, I think they're holographics that have you know all the different colors of glitter so there are different two different liquid shadows that go along with these that you can go ahead and get that I'm planning to get and uh, this palette just it makes you think and it makes you uh, be creative and come up with some fun looks but all of these blues and greens down here mix so well together that if you're wanting to do a deep dark scary Halloween look you can definitely do it if you want to do a really light uh, fun sparkly look you can do it too so um, really pretty palette very unique very different and very fun and um, really got me to go ahead and think about it and I went back and watched some of the series and so yeah um, really good palette really unexpected palette so really enjoying this one and I think that's just about all the palettes that I have I hope that you have a great day and I'll go ahead and see you later bye